Hi everybody, it's Kristana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So I want to show you something. I was doing a little bit of experimenting. I want to show you guys something that I was working on yesterday. So I really wanted to do a hand painted piece with hand painted flowers. So I've never painted flowers before, but I think I figured it out. So if I can figure it out, I'm going to show you how I figured it out. So this should be for anyone who's never painted a flower before, because again, I figured it out yesterday. So I'm going to be working on this piece and what I did is I painted these by hand yesterday. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. That way, if you want to paint flowers on a piece, you can. And what I did is, uh, this is Chocolate by Dixie Bell. So what I did is I mixed the chocolate with the sea spray and I did that beforehand. So I'm not gonna show that because if you go back to a lot of my videos, I already have that in there. But what you're gonna do is sea spray is a texture additive. You add that, you can take a measure cup you can add that in there, put your paint in there, and then I did that for the texture because what I'm gonna do, I think, after this all dries, after we do this, is I'm gonna go through and sand it just to kind of give it an aged look. I think maybe we'll do some brown wax on it as well. But the main component of this video is to show you how to paint flowers on your furniture. So if you guys are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and you'll get all the latest videos that I put up and everything that we use is gonna be in the description below. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do for this piece is go over the rest of it with Dixie Bell, Dixie Bell Blue. That's what color this is, it's Dixie Bell Blue. So I'm gonna go over the rest of the piece with Dixie Bell Blue before we start painting the flowers. I wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure, uh oh mm. I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not It feels just like I'm lying to you I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life I know I'm wasting time Cause I just wanna call my friends and see what they're doing tonight It doesn't have to be so special I try to be myself, you do the same and we'll be alright Alright, so the Dixie Bell Blue is dried And so I wanna do is show you how I make these roses So the first thing I'm gonna do is get Dixie Bell's Peony now you can use a different paintbrush if you want, but I just found that the oval smalls were really easy for making these because it's got that round right here and I'm gonna dab. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to dab a circle, the shape of my row. So if you want smaller ones, then make a smaller circle. If you want bigger ones, then make a bigger circle. So I'm just gonna kind of do that randomly. And we're gonna wait for these to dry and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so we're gonna focus, you want it to dry and we're just gonna focus on this little dot right here. You're gonna take your peony and you're gonna lighten it up. So you're gonna take some peony. We're just gonna set it on here. And then we're gonna take a little bit of drop cloth. This is kind of my mixing color. So you can see there's other colors in there. I'm not super concerned with it. So I'm gonna take some of that drop cloth and I'm going to mix it together. And what we're trying to do is make a lighter color. So when you do the darker underneath and then you add the lighter on top, it adds dimension. So this is what we want. So we're gonna set this other thing aside. Make sure you get the excess paint off. This is an angled, this is an angled brush. So this is what I'm using. Okay, so we're gonna focus on this flower right here. We're gonna take this that we have and we're just gonna make small little half circles. We're gonna make small little half circles. And then we're going to just kind of wrap them around each other. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is a little bit smaller and this brush is a little bit bigger. So you want every little area right here, you're just gonna keep overlapping them. And once you start getting to the outside, you're gonna make them bigger. So see how these strokes are smaller and then they just get bigger and bigger. We're gonna go this way. 
come around, okay? Go over here. And you're going to the outside of this. So what this is gonna do is gonna clean up the outside right here. So then you're gonna start right here. You see this little section that doesn't have anything and we're going to just kind of overlap and work. We'll make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go here. You can go out longer if you want. You can come from this side if you want. You can come from here. Go in. And then you've got this one last little part that we're gonna overlap. Okay, now you wanna let that dry and then we will fill this in with barn red. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is show you how I got this look on oh. this flower that we're working on. So you wanna make sure that that is dry and then we're gonna move on to the next step. You want some barn red. Now you can do these colors any way you like, but if you do your base color, make sure you do your base color and make sure you lighten up that base color a little bit. And then the next part, we're gonna go in with a little bit darker and then we're gonna use a little bit of white. So this part, we're gonna use barn red and I'm actually only gonna use the lid. We don't need a lot. So I'm gonna dab this in here, just like that. We're gonna add it to the center and we're gonna actually add it to all the areas that our base coat was. Add a little bit of dimension there. So that's why when you're doing your lighter color, if you, like up here, I covered up some of that blue that was underneath. This is just a regular thin paintbrush. Regular. Regular thin paintbrush. Okay, so I'm not gonna actually wait for the red to dry. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that angled brush that I had before and I'm gonna use my drop cloth. I'm gonna dab a little tiny bit of the drop cloth in there. And I wanna take some of that off. And I'm just gonna kinda go in between over the lighter colors. Right here. I'm gonna go over here. Maybe down here. Okay. Go on the outside of this petal. A little bit more. On the outside of this petal. In between. So what we're doing is we're adding dimension with these colors. Okay, now I'm going to take this mix that I had, I'm gonna dab it, and then I'm just gonna kinda go over that white. So we're trying to kind of blend that white in there. And if you need to go back over with a little bit of the dark, you can. So you can go back over with the dark. Go in there with some dark. Now these aren't meant to be perfect and once you add your greenery, so I'm gonna add some, we got this. That one's got a little bit more white on it. But once we add our greenery like we did over here on this side, then it's going to all kind of come together. Right now they look a little random because we're like, what are these things? But once you put your greenery, then it's gonna look like roses. And again, these are boho roses, so they're not meant to be perfect. Lonesome dripping, cause we're spending the night. And it feels alright, but it's over now. Time keeps slipping, with the skin next to mine. In your lips I can fight, but it's over now. You brought out the best in me. Turn out the lights for no reason What's it on make-believe? Something you never needed What was it all for? I don't know you anymore We go back, we go back, we go back, we colliding Losing track, losing track, even God knows I'm trying Clear, but 
but you lied to me Now I keep thinking Was I wasting my time Letting you into my life mm -hmm. You brought out the best in me We had everything we needed You put me aside and turn out the lights For no reason Was it a make-believe? Something you never needed What was it all for? I don't know you Okay, so our next step after painting these boho flowers is to add the vines. So what I've got here is I've got Dixie Belle's Evergreen, Palmetto, and Drop Cloth. And I'm gonna show you how to make the vines and how to add a little bit of dimension like I did on these ones. So our first step is I'm gonna take the Evergreen and I've got my angled brush again. I'm gonna take the Evergreen, I'm gonna dip it in here, and we're actually gonna just, we'll work down here. We're going to bring this vine coming off of this guy You're gonna go over this texture, go down here, and just go all the way just up, like it's a vine that's just leaving, okay? And so then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go over that again. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some leaves off of this. So we're gonna use our evergreen, and I'm going to just create a leaf, fill that in with the evergreen. We'll do another leaf right here. So these vines and these leaves are actually gonna tie all of this together. So then we're not, it doesn't look like there's floating flowers. See like over here, it's kind of tied it all together. Now this side is a little bit more smooth than this side. So, but now that we have, let's get in here. Okay, so we did our evergreen, right? And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my palmetto I'm gonna dab it in here, and I'm just gonna do one side. I'm gonna do right here, almost like a shading. And then I'm actually going to do this, kind of push it down into there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my butter, my drop cloth. I'm just gonna dab it. I'm gonna do a line right there, okay? It's not gonna stay like that. I'm gonna get my evergreen just a little bit and I'm just gonna kind of push it around so that light color is in the center of the palmetto, the evergreen, and then it's lighter. If you wanna lighten it up a little bit more, you can, but that is just to add a little bit of dimension and shading. So that's what we're gonna do for the rest of it is make vines and leaves. I wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure, uh oh mm. I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not It feels just like I'm lying to you I fake it, stage it Okay, so I finished the flowers, I finished the leaves, and everything coming off of it. So I'm gonna take my surf prep and I'm actually gonna scuff it up a little bit to kind of age it, and so that we can see some of that chocolate pull through from underneath. And then I'll probably go over it with the grunge gray wax. So that's what we're gonna do next. I'm 
So I'm done with this piece. I have staged it. So what I did is kind of a recap is we did a base coat of Dixie Belle blue. We painted some flowers on there and then we did some grunge gray wax over top of that. We also did a little bit of distressing. So that is what she looks like. I'm pretty proud. Never painted roses before. So that was a little out of my comfort zone and hopefully, I mean, I'm sure there's a million other ways to paint the flowers, but I mean, I feel like they look like roses. I like it. It's cute boho roses. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit that bell to get all the latest videos. And again, everything I used will be in the description below. Happy painting. I'll see you guys later.